what's up you freaking geniuses so in this video we're going to go over a supplementary angle word problem okay so the problem says two angles are supplementary the smaller angle is 55 degrees less than the bigger angle find the measure of both angles okay so starting at the beginning two angles are supplementary now supplementary angles are two angles that when you add them up add up to 180 degrees so we don't know the measure of either angle right so we'll just make up two angles we'll say angle a plus angle b and remember they're supplementary so at least we know this they're equal to 180 degrees okay now this is where all the information comes from but it's kind of confusing right so it says the smaller angle is 55 degrees less than the bigger angle so it doesn't give me the measure of either angle right so angle A, I'm just going to call it X because I don't know what it is. So I'm just going to call it X. And then what I have to do now is figure out how this other angle, angle B, relates to X. Okay, so here it says the smaller angle is 55 degrees less than the bigger angle. Okay, so angle A, let's just say it's the bigger angle, right? Because we don't have any information about it. But here it says the smaller angle is 55 degrees less than the bigger one. So this is saying... Angle B, or the smaller angle, is the same as X, but it's 55 degrees smaller than X. Okay, so now I have a way to represent each angle. So we're adding these two angles up together, right? So this plus sign, I have to bring that down. And then remember, it's equal to 180 degrees. Okay, 180 degrees. Okay, so here, now all we have to do is solve for X. Okay, so... First thing I'm going to do is combine like terms, okay? So here we have x plus x, so that's equal to 2x, right? And then I have this minus 55 degrees that I'm also going to bring down. Minus 55 degrees. And remember, this is all equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so again, we're trying to isolate x by itself, right? So I'm going to get rid of this minus 55 degrees by adding 55 degrees. Okay, and what you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other side, right? So I have to add 55 degrees on this side also. Okay, so now simplifying some stuff. 2x, I still have just the 2x. And then negative 55 degrees plus 55 degrees, that cancels out and just goes to zero. So then this is going to be equal to 180 plus 55. So 180 plus 55 is equal to... 235 degrees okay so last thing we have to do to solve for x right here is get rid of this 2 right in order to undo the multiplication we have to divide by 2 okay and what you do to one side you do to the other so then the 2's on this side are going to cancel out so then we're just going to be left with x on this side and then that's going to be equal to 235 divided by 2 and that's equal to 117.5 degrees. Okay, cool. Now I know what X is equal to. So now that I know what X is equal to, now I can plug it back into this original equation we made. Okay, so remember, angle A we said was X, right? So angle A was equal to X. And then we said angle B was equal to X minus 55 degrees. So then angle B was equal to X minus 55 degrees. Okay, but now we know what X is equal to, right? 117.5 degrees. So here, angle A is equal to X, and X is equal to 117.5 degrees. Okay, and then angle B is X minus 55 degrees, which would be 117.5 minus 55. And that's equal to 62.5 degrees. Now remember, angle A and angle B are supplementary, right? That means when you add them up, they should add up to 180 degrees. So if we add up our answers now, 117.5, right, 117.5 degrees, plus angle B, which is 62.5, well, that's equal to 180 degrees, okay? So since they add up to 180 degrees, we know we did it right. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.
Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful, so definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.